what they're gunning for on first and goal. Looking to throw. Rowe flushed out right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. On second down, they'll run it here. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Falcons have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. And that will make this a four-point game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. New England trotting into place on offense. But the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. Throwing on first down. Two. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. Operating from the gun. Two. Over the middle complete. That's Lambert. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. to throw. Two. Throw left side complete. That's Palmer. No gain on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. And I know that one didn't work out the way they thought, but I don't think it was a bad time to call this play. You're thinking on third down, you might possibly see some pressure. You might see a blitz. So they tried to set up the screen, but that one was well read, and they stopped them for no gain. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. To throw on second down. Rowe escaping the pressure right. He's going to let this go deep back over the middle. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Partner, have you ever heard the story of Icarus in mythology? That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. He keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. And now out come the Patriots. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And this series could very well determine our outcome. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Off the play fake. Two. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. 
Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. They tried to the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Up the middle they go. It's Lambert, and he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. On first and ten, Pew. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Q. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now they'll run on the draw. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. Looking to throw. Pew. Oh, no, he lost the football. Offensively lucky they're able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. Looking to throw on second down. Rowe looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Back to throw. Rowe going right back to Ferguson. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Here's a give up the middle. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Looking to throw. Row. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 30. Now a handoff running through the middle. He'll get it inside the 20. Touchdown, Falcons! A great play there. 30 yards. And the Falcons are closing in on a 4-1 start as they extend their fourth quarter lead. And that run 
going to put him over 100 yards now for the ball game as well. Yeah, he's really had his way so far, and that's just more of the same right here. All he needs, just a little crease, and off he goes. Point after try, forthcoming. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So the drive there took six plays. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Patriot offense back out, getting set to go. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Throwing to start the drive. Pew. He finds his man complete. It's Palmer. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. On second down now. It's Palmer, and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 52 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Pew. And yeah, this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. But the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. Off play action, Pew. And the defense has it covered, it's intercepted. And the Falcons are going to take possession here at their own 33. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. They'll start on the ground here on first down. A solid stiff arm. Room here to run. 20. And he's finally taken down, but not before he reaches the 14. A big play there on the option. 53 yards. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. On first down, Rowe, and he completes it to Wilson. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Back to throw. Throw. And it's caught over the middle. Wilson. And the Falcons are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. 
Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? Clock's going to go. But his thought process is getting into the end zone. It's counterintuitive for him to actually go down in this spot. Yeah, but you, like you say, you don't want to get in the end zone too early here. No, not at all, because you may leave an opening that could come back and get you. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Falcons look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So the Patriots coming out now. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Throwing on first down. Pew. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry-up to throw on second down. Pew. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Good for a gain of six. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. I just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? And yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who? What, what defense you're in? That was totally a blown coverage. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong. And now it's fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And here is a leaping catch. He pulled it in. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. On first and 10, Pew. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end call it a gain of a yard and that'll make it second down that was a nice throw out there to the flat but they defended that pretty well the hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage there just wasn't anywhere to go on that play check, check. looking to throw on second down pew throwing right and that's complete and that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 21. Looking to throw. Pew. He finds his man. Complete. That's King. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. To throw on second down. Pew. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be 
incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So for Atlanta, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1. And, and they'll get another home date next week as the Saints will come to town. Meanwhile, for New England, they'll fall to 1-4 and four with a loss. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.